Hi, my name is Julie, aka Mademoiselle Jules, and I've prepared a partnership with Victoria Park Medispa, a very special mini series about a topic that is a little bit, well, intimate. I'll be interviewing Dr. Karen Bouzaglou, gynecologist and sexual wellness director at Victoria Park Medispa, about all things down there. Yep, that's right, sexual and vaginal health. So first of all, you guys may not know, but Dr. Karen Buzaglo is a mom of four. I'm a mom of three. And for our last baby, we were at an event at the park for school. And a few days later, we ended up both at the hospital and gave birth the same day. Same day. Yeah. So we both uh, know a little bit about childbirth. Absolutely. And uh, in fact, this is true for all women. Uh, body will inevitably change after a childbirth. Uh, the pelvic floor specifically mm -hmm. and in fact one in three women suffer from some sort of pelvic floor dysfunction and incontinence after childbirth and uh, beyond. It happened to me. Can we please talk quickly because I have a friend from Paris she was extremely surprised when she told me she goes how come you guys don't have a, a therapist or physical therapist for your pelvic floor after you, we, you give birth and I'm like we do not have this in Quebec not that I know of but we now do. we have solutions for it so can you tell us a little bit more about it? Sure we absolutely do have pelvic floor physiotherapists in Quebec uh, in fact people don't necessarily know about this because Really, we're not trained as gynecologists to tell women about this postpartum mm -hmm. at their usual visit. In France, you're right, my sister-in-law gave birth in France. Systematically, they have pelvic floor physiotherapy for a few sessions after birth. And uh, here in, in Canada, I believe, we have uh, no such program. And uh, it's very important for women to, to seek it out, um, discuss it with their uh, OBGYN after birth, uh, even before in preparation for postpartum. Yes, so there's a lot of new moms and me, I remember unfortunately like sneezing and oops, you have a little bit of an accident. So sure. what are the solutions out there? So Kegel exercises, um, but really can be helped with um, consultation with a pelvic floor physiotherapist where they could teach you how to do these exercises properly. And what we have here at uh, Victoria Park Veggie Spa is this technology called the MCELA. And so the Amcella is basically a chair. Yeah, the frameless uh, chair. Yeah. I, I've tried it. I needed to see yeah. for myself yeah. what it is. So basically you sit on this chair and it does the Kegel exercises for you. So it does the equivalent of 12,000 Kegel exercises in 28 minutes. It's quite a uh, feeling. Yeah. I have and to say. It doesn't it. hurt. Just want to tell everyone it yeah. does not hurt. Uh, I, I, I wanted to try it before we have this uh, yeah, mini series yeah. just to get a feeling and a hang of it. At first uh, I was, it was caught by surprise a little bit and then I kind of forgot about it but you really do feel uh, the exercise. That's Absolutely. Right. So yeah. it's uh, two sessions a week for three weeks so after the course of three weeks you're, you've completed uh, the exercises. It's uh, using this uh, very specific technology called HIFM technology, high intensity focus electromagnetic technology. So it induces supramaximal contractions of the pelvic floor. So it works on the whole pelvic floor region to re-educate the pelvic floor muscles. Mm -hmm. And so how many Kegel exercises does one have to do in a lifetime to achieve that? You know, right. because we Kegels we have to do at least 100 a day every day to see the difference. And we say we're going to do Kegel exercises, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> then, what do we have find time? In the car. Yeah, in the car. <laughs> in the car. And then you, you know you do it and you don't not sure if you're doing it properly, etc. So pelvic floor physiotherapists can help, but also how many pelvic floor physiotherapy sessions does it take to achieve True. that number of contractions? So this is something that is new at Vic Park, revolutionary, life changing for women. So and you very said happy to twice it. a week for three weeks, so six treatments. And That's for right. how long will the treatment last about? Oh, so it could last for quite a few years. Oh, um, so the technology has been around in Canada quite recently, in the last few years. It's been around longer in Europe and uh, in the U.S., for example. Um, so we don't have long-term data of 10, 20 years, but certainly it will help for a few years, and some women will need to do touch-ups uh, every couple okay. of years. Okay, yeah. that's great. So Dr. Buzaglu, I have a question for you, because I know there is a surgery procedure for incontinence, and I wanted to know also, now that we have all this technology, what people used to do before. That's right. So in fact, not everybody's going to be a candidate for MCELA, okay? okay. So the candidates are, are chosen very carefully. Some people, some women do need surgery. 
Um, but until very recently, we were using um, a sort of mesh procedure um, that was put between the bladder and the vagina. There were many, many complications from this uh, mesh procedure. So um, unfortunately, this is less uh, available now. There are certain techniques that are still available with mesh, um, but we're not using this procedure like we used to. I think the MCELA is coming at a good time Absolutely. because we're not able to do the previous procedures that we were doing and uh, there are other solutions that are non-invasive and are very, very helpful for women. So that's great. So I have one more question for you. So we said this procedure, uh, this technology could be available for women of many ages. So for a mom, so if someone's a menopausal, like this? Sure. For any woman who suffers from incontinence, mild incontinence, um, and some mild pelvic floor um, dysfunction and prolapse. It's not just for, for childbearing women, uh, postpartum women, women of all ages, uh, specifically postmenopausal women mm -hmm. um, that lack estrogen, and that has an impact on the vaginal tissue, vaginal health, uh, what we call genitourinary syndrome of menopause now. And uh, these women can really benefit from this technology as well. Dr. Buzaglo, I wanted to know some women are wondering when do they know if they need treatment? How do they know if they need treatment? And also not necessarily if they are uh, experimenting incontinence, but I heard, and you're going to let me know if it's true or not, that it can help you to increase your sexual life. It's true that uh, it is not just for uh, reasons of peeing on yourself, for example, uh, women will report that they will have increased intensity of sexual pleasure um, from this technology because it's helpful for pelvic relaxation mm -hmm. uh, syndrome by helping tighten the muscles of the pelvic floor. A lot of women realize that there's a difference right. in their bodies after childbirth mm -hmm. and don't necessarily know that there are solutions to these problems that they often are very shy to talk about. Mm -hmm and uh, they should address these concerns with their healthcare provider. That's and why I'm so happy right. that we're doing yeah. this together. Dr. Wazegla, I want to thank you for your time. I think it's amazing what we're doing here today to uh, help other women out there to know about all these alternatives and treatments that are available. So we covered today the Amcella, and next week we're going to give you a little sneak peek. Our episode will be about the Diva treatment. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Sure. So the Diva is another revolutionary procedure that's available at Vic Park. Um, it is a laser, vaginal laser therapy that helps with vaginal dryness, vaginal laxity, and pain from intercourse. Wow, say no more. Okay guys, thank you very much and see you next week.